So when tuning in Fetech Alpha, iNav, or Kiss, Kiss Ultra or Kiss Classic, a difficult part is they don't have sliders. So keeping your gains in relationship to each other is kind of difficult. It requires you to really do math on the calculator or something like that. Well, not anymore, because I'm going to introduce today the UAV Tech PID calculator that you can use to keep your ratios together, essentially put in your PIDs and kind of use the same slider behavior that Betaflight has. So I'll drop a link down below where you can click on this to get to it, or you can go to theuavtech.com on your computer or smartphone, and then go up to the utilities up here and then go ahead and click the PID calculator. From here, it's pretty straightforward. You just click and put in your PID values on here. So whatever PID values have. So maybe I did some tuning on this quad and this is what the PIDs I ended up with. But now I wanna increase those PID gains to kind of get to the peak prop wash performance to see how high I can push the gains. Well, I don't wanna to have to do all the math to keep everything in ratio. So I can go down here and just use these multiplier values. In this one, if you click on them, you'll get a little tool tip, PID level tip, increasing your PIDs for better prop wash performance, check your motor temps, higher PIDs are a little bit more sensitive to vibrations, things of that nature. So do check that out. If you just click on here and then say, I wanna increase my PIDs by 1.5, I just type in a 1.5 in there. And then these would be the new values that you would enter into your firmware, your flight controller firmware of your choice, whatever you're using. You can see here, these gains I'm modeling, uh, this is kind of the KISS kind of gain levels, but you could put an iNav, PIDs in here, EMU flight, whatever you're flying. And then on the next one down, we have the P to D ratio on that one. Of course, we can go into there and press two, for example, and then it will double your, it will hold your D gains and then double your uh, P and I gains because it's gonna move both up. Those are your, both your pushing terms. And uh, yeah, adjust your ratio there uh, for that, to, for better tracking. Now, if you get to this point and you're like, what the heck is he even talking about? You gotta check out this video right here. This is the fundamental key things you need to know to really do a successful PID tune. And after watching that, if you need a little bit more convincing of how important the ratios are in between the terms, go ahead and check out my tuning page right here. And then slide on down to this part right here where you can read up on the proofs that were done, independent testing by folks, to show that once you hold those ratios, you can move gains up and down to increase performance and how the balancing between all the gains really works and uh, all the test results are right there for your perusal. So what I really envision that with this is using it on your smartphone out in the field. So you can see here, I have the app. If I, again, just go to theuavtech.com and then if I click on that little three lines over there and then get the utilities and PID calc, now I have it right here on my phone. I can kind of get this centered up in my screen right here and just double click and then I put in my PID values that I'm using and then at that point I can come down to here and then say type in my new value for my ratios here that I want to give a go and then here's my updated values that I would you know use the OSD put those into the uh, into the firmware and then give that give that a go give that a flight and see how she goes okay well that is it so hopefully you find that helpful hopefully that's something you can use on the go to kind of tweak out and update your gains and keep all and don't have to worry about all the maths if you do mess up any of the like this is equations down here that you could technically overwrite and mess up that uh that math all you have to do is go ahead and hit the refresh page on the website uh, for this page and it will reset everything thanks again everybody i hope this helps